scared you to run. I think people know now, but I'm sure yeah. that it's maybe it's kind of changed a little bit as, as you continue to run. Honestly, it was just because of all the support and love everybody showed my son and my family um, after he passed away. And I felt I just needed to give back. I needed to do something to give back. I was past the age of being a police officer, so I couldn't do that. So the next best thing was uh, city council. And uh, really just the, the officers and the citizens of Toledo asking me to run. So I figured, you know what, let, let me run and try to make a difference. And what is your main, like, what would you say your main issues are when it comes to city council? What role do you think that you would fill? You know, I just think on any issue, there needs to be more homework done. There needs to be more research done. They should uh, know, or possibly, hopefully, they know what they're talking about before they're voting on something. Um, for instance, uh, I give an example about the water meter deal. I'm, try I'm starting to hear that the, the Blade uh, reported it wrong, but anyways, they're saying it's a $100 million deal. I did some research, I did some homework, um, I contacted some people that are in that industry, and it shouldn't cost any more than you know, $40, $50 million instead of 100. So for you, it's not, it's not just about policing, even though that's one of the main reasons. It's um, research on, on every issue. Absolutely. You know, and I, I feel like uh, different divisions, like let's say the zoo, for instance. Um, I love the zoo. But I believe whoever's running the zoo needs to be a little bit more proactive and trying to find ways where the zoo can be self-sufficient. For instance, we have, you know, I don't know, 40, 50 exhibits. Why aren't we reaching out to multi-billion dollar companies and saying, hey, do you want to uh, sponsor this exhibit for 150, 200,000 a year or whatever the number we can come up with? It'll save that much, you know, that, that much less money that the city or the county would have to come up with. So for you, it's, you know, for that, in that situation, it's looking into more public-private partnerships. Absolutely, like absolutely. And um, how do you think that your background has prepared you for a role like this? Tell us a little bit about your background. I've been self-employed my entire adult life. I've had to file bankruptcy due to a fire. I've had to start all over again. Um, you know, thank God I'm doing well again. Um, I believe I'm good at solving problems. I believe I'm good at, uh, at you know, s solving issues and, uh, and rolling up my sleeve and putting work in. I have no problem with it. And so you said you've been self-employed. Do you run a variety of businesses around Toledo? Is that what, is that what you do? Yes. standing in front of one of them Yes. Now? And so how, um, what do you think you learned from being a, from being a business owner? You know, I know how to solve problems. I know that if I need a piece of equipment, um, I don't make that decision on my own. I go to my employees that are in the trenches that are there that know what's going on, and I ask them, hey, is this worth it? Um, could, is this piece of equipment going to make us any money? Is it going to cost us money? Um, so we need to be open to talking to the people that are in the trenches that are doing the work and getting their advice also and leaving our egos at the door, of course. You know, I know, you know a lot of people aren't fond of it, and I'm sure some people are. At the end of the day, it was a legitimate business. If it wasn't a legitimate business, I wouldn't be endorsed by the Toledo Police Patrolmen's Association. Um, I was a shareholder like any other shareholder. I, did, I, I didn't operate it. Um, those, there's clubs like that are publicly traded. People could have them in their mutual funds and have no idea. So it's really no different. If you have it in your, in your mutual fund and you're a shareholder, I was just a shareholder also. Gotcha. And um, obviously there was some news that came out Friday that uh, you did respond to, but I would love to get your response in person. I, I really don't want to go too much into it out of respect for the family. Um, the boy's mother is friends with my sister. My, uh, my nephew dates the granddaughter. Um, and it's unfortunate that they brought it up because that poor mother has to re relive this thing all over again. And it's, it's unfortunate, it's, it's really, it's, it's dirty. And uh, you know, there should be lines where people don't cross and to, uh, 
to dig up and have somebody unseal my juvenile record is, is very, it's, it's sickening. And we're going to really look into it and see what happened and uh, who did what. Yeah, and I think, um, what do you want people to know that you've like learned and changed from being 16 to where you are now? Cause you, thought you'd you know, I've had to live with that my entire life. And, you know, it, it was in self-defense, but again, I'm not going to go into details. Um, and as I get older, it, it, it makes it even harder for me because now at 50, I look back, you know, he was a 17-year-old child. Even though I'm a child, I was a child then, but at the same time, as you get older, you look back, he was a child that lost his life. And it really, it, you know, I have to live with that for the rest of my life. And it gets harder and harder the older I get because it just, it just does. How would you say that the past year has changed your life? Obviously, many people didn't know your name, and now they do. They've seen you come out and speak about the police, in favor of the police, um, in honor of your son. How do you think that has changed you when it comes to wanting to run for office? I just want to give back. I, like I said, I just want to give back to the people of Toledo. They deserve some honesty. They deserve a person that's going to go be there with no agenda. I have no agenda. I mean. You know, I make plenty of money. I don't need the money. I want to do it because I care. I care about Toledo. My kids have to grow up here. My grandkids have to grow up here. So I want to really try to make a difference. And then this is something we ask everyone. Is there anything else you want to add? Anything else you think people might not know about you that they should while you're running for office? I will never lie to you. I will always tell you the truth. Even if the truth hurts, it is what it is. Um, I will fight for the people. And if, uh, if there's anything that's, you know, for instance, immoral, unethical, I'll, I'll call that person out on it publicly. I have no problem with that.